Okay, a little bit different. I got the Nikon, <coughs> excuse me, 85 1.2. Let's see if it, yep, yeah, recognize it. Look at that. Is it like this? So you see the front one is in focus. If I get a little bit closer, look at that. It becomes more blurry in the background. But if I use the, uh, if I back up, then those ones kind of become focused in a way. But there's the boxes. Computer. This is 85 millimeter, so I have to back up. Show the desk. Extra TV. See how there's with the lighting. Pretty sharp. Okay. So I decided to do the video first and I'll take the stills. This is Z8, manual mode, somber. And it looks a little out of focus, but yeah. If I put the pointer on there. Anyway, look how sharp I can get close. Better yet, look at Wanda. There she goes. I have to put the auto focus on. I don't know if she hears something. What is it? A lizard? So let's go in here. It's real dark, but you can see the washer, dryer, pictures, real dark room. Let's go back and look at Wanda. There's your puppy picture. Yeah, see, I have to press the auto to focus. I have this problem with the 85 millimeter F1.82. So uh, something shiny or bright. Uh-oh. Who's that peeking at me? Who's that peeking at me? He wants to play or he wants food. There you go. There's one in the back. So you can see what becomes focused, what's not. So I'm just doing a quick video on this 85 1.2, just panning around a little bit. It's a big, heavy lens, I think more than the Plena, but still, there she is. Is she going outside? Is she going outside? The box is around her eye, by the way. She is sharp. She acts like a pointer, you know, she raises her paw and she's pointing at something. I think dogs know that what if they want something, they'll, they'll know how to push your buttons. And she's pushing my button because she wants some C-H-O-W or T-R-E-A-T, -E like this cat. This cat is rubbing, yeah, get her Wanda, get her. She says, no, I get food first before you. So he chased the cat away. And the cat's twice her size. He could beat her up. So let me just go into the bedroom real quick. Okay. So I'll focus on. There you go. You see? Go in from dark to light. But you can see how clear 
this camera zooms. And I'm running at uh, 59.5 shutter speed. There we go. Just trying to show some things. Now I'm going to be taking some stills. Look how sharp she is. Okay. Just scroll around. Back up. Show all the artifacts off. I got a lot of stuff. Bathroom real quick. Yep. Starting to get sunset. Very good. Let's look at my plant. They have in the bathtub. Look how long it's grown. Yep, that's what you do. You give it water. So anyway, now I'll take some uh, stills. All right, so what, what you're seeing is different pictures. Look how sharp they are. I had uh, different lighting. I tried different uh, picture profiles. But look how sharp certain parts of the dog is, and then it's blurry at the end.
So these are just quick shots that I've taken. Didn't really do the composure right or anything. I just wanted to see how fast the camera can act when I press the shutter button. And it's at 1.2. So you can see where some parts are in focus. So I, I tried the statue, but I think the picture was in focus. That's a painting. The other side is the kitchen. So I'm trying to look at the stained glass, see what type of lighting it affects, but you can see the blurriness in the front. So look at the blurriness in the front compared to, uh, I think it was for the TV, right underneath the TV, that little lamp thing. There's Wanda. I had her in focus. You can see how things are blurry. Now the back of the cat is in focus. The front of the cat is blurry. That's a 1.2 85 millimeter. Look at the reflection on the uh, on the uh, dining room table. There's the living room. So you can see the different colors, the different objects by going to F8 on some of these pictures. You can see the depth of field. Look how close I can get to that uh, small little bitty piano. And it's small. It's about an inch high. It's a music box. There's a Sony speaker. So there's the bicycle in front and then the pictures on the side. Isn't that something? How one part is in focus, the other part that might be closer to you is uh, blurry out. Even if you look at the lamp as you go toward the top, it's blurred. And that is correct time on my wall clock. It stops, so I have to keep starting it. I haven't fixed the time yet. See, that's blurry. So some things, when I take the picture, aren't clear.
But look at this. Blurry on the right, sharp at the box. On the top, it looks blurry. So which one do you think I was trying to focus? I tried the mermaid, and it was the sign. This sign right here. She's only about an inch from that sign, by the way. And this is back in the office. You can see my Nikon uh, cameras on. So some shots are overexposed, but I just did some quick shooting with these lenses. So I focus on the A7C and the ZFC. And the picture is a little overexposed. But I do have okay. it. Okay, a little bit different. I got the Nikon excuse me, 85 1.2. And I'm gonna stop it right there. So I hope you like this. There's the uh, 85 millimeter f1.2 on the Z8. Hmm. That's a big lens, let me tell you, especially with the lens head. So anyway, thank you for watching. Remember, stay safe, keep smiling. And until next time, I shall see you then. Goodbye, folks.